At Takleban Hospital, this 13-year-old girl has just been brought in, badly injured and deeply traumatized. For six days, she was trapped in the ruins of her home, the bodies of her whole family lying around her. The only thing she has been able to tell nurses is her name, Rebecca. The doctor immediately sets to work cleaning her badly infected wounds, but he only has the most basic supplies. We have no stocks, as you can see. We have no equipment. The only problem is we don't have medicines. We lack medicines. So we need your help. Outside, others are not waiting for help. They're helping themselves. At first glance, it's hard to tell exactly what is going on here until you realise this is a petrol station. So this down here, these, this is diesel in this tank underground here, and they very ingeniously, you can see what they're doing, putting these down, lifting it up and filling out bottles. And what, what, is it, what do you need? Is for your car? For your motorcycle? For motorcycle? Oh, yes. You run out of fuel now? Yes. Yeah, OK. If this is looting, then it is very patient and well-ordered looting. The truth is, it is the only way for people to get fuel here. These are strange days in Takloban. At noon, the streets emptied and suddenly soldiers appeared. Yesterday's disaster zone briefly took on the appearance of a war zone. With the rumour mill in overdrive, several people told me the city was about to be attacked by communist rebels. It's not really clear what's going on here. The army have come in here this morning to reassert control. Now they say they have some sort of gunman down this street, pinned down. We never did find out, but the army does appear to be here in force now. Back at the hospital, it's little consolation. They are short of everything. These people are waiting for operations they can't have. This baby has a high fever and diarrhoea, but even the drinking water she so obviously needs has been carefully rationed. In time, Rebecca's physical wounds will heal, but for her and so many here, there will forever now be life before and after the typhoon. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tacloban, Central Philippines.